Guys, happy belated Valentine's Day to you and yours, which is probably no one. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> Valentine's Day was two weeks ago now, so I'm a little late. Uh, I apologize for the tardiness on me wishing you happy Valentine's Day, but better late than never. Uh, this vi this video came out on Valentine's Day, which is why I wanted to, to watch it with you. This is on Nectar, three and a half million views, 108,000 likes. Featuring Nut himself, 50 strangers swipe on each other, verse one on the Nectar channel. Hi, I'm Nut. I'm back hosting the biggest episode of Versus One ever. Why does this feel like the trailer for Dune or something? What is this music? It's not that serious. Or is it? We don't know. Maybe that's why, maybe that's why it has three and a half million views. Maybe someone dies during this. Someone's like, uh, I'm gonna swipe you left. That'd be pretty wild. 25 single women and 25 single men swiping yes or no on each other at the same time. Starting now. So they can't say anything. This is just so it's like it's like Tinder in real life. Not enough channels are doing Tinder in real life. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's not a that's not that's no hate on Nectar, by the way. Jubilee and Nectar, I feel like, tend to um actually try and come up with their own formats, you know? But it's funny how much the Tinder in real life concept has been absolutely beat to death on YouTube. It's like they killed the horse and then they kicked it and they shot the horse and then they stuffed it, put it up on a wall and shot it off the wall. Whoops. I will say though, there is a little bit, you basically see what the person before does. So if they swipe, if they're highly critical of the guy in front of you, I'm thinking about this as a, from a, from the perspective of one of the guys, because I'm a dude. But like, if you see some girl and she's highly critical of the dude in front of you and you're like, that dude's probably better looking than me, I think, then you're probably gonna swipe left on her. So I'm already kind of, see, this is, this is what I do, man. You can't get any, you can't sneak anything in a dating show by me. I will pick that shit apart. You know, I'm not. go first match i'm pumped i'm having fun oh by the way uh if you like the you know the crew neck that i was wearing in the last video or the hoodie that i was wearing in the video before that you've probably you probably now you're pretty familiar with these with these garments that i've been wearing they come out on thursday thursday morning you'll be able to purchase one if you'd like to if you want to be reminded go to codysrunclub.com put your email in the field and then we'll send you an email reminding you right when they drop. It's a limited run, so if you're interested in one of these, hop on it while you can. Honestly, I, I think I might say this every time, but I truly think that this is my favorite stuff we've ever done. And I just love like puff print and it's just, it just makes me happy. And it's a fun, fr it's a fun phrase, you know? Cause I'm still not quite sure who lets me do it, but I keep having fun. So if you want to support the channel, cop one. I appreciate you if you do. Cody'sRunClub.com, Thursday morning. The only merch ever to be released ever on a leap day. Is it a leap? Is it a leap year this year? I think it is. So did this merch even ever come out? Who knows? Only you can find out by buying some. music in the background this feels like kind of artsy i like this vibe i'm impressed i like this video so far same sweater. <laughs> same sweater that's cheating that's cheating you can't chat with the person before you match with them that's cheating oh i got some
<laughs> Damn, the girls are kind of brutal. <laughs> there have been a decent amount of right swipes on the guy's side. The girls aren't having any of these dudes. Come on, guys, one of the, it's gonna work for one of you. This is actually, this is actually fucking crazy. This is like, I wonder if the producers are standing there like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Yo, we did not expect this to happen. Is this like an analogy for like why apps are a good thing? Because it's like they provide the necessary like mediator. No, I guess, no, I don't know. I don't know what the, what the fuck am I doing? What am I, a scientist? It's just interesting, is it not? Like why we all get in our own ways. Like when we're just left to purely physical attraction, like nobody can, nobody can decide. Nervous. Okay, shut the fuck up, cheers. <laughs> no way. <laughs> There's nothing to be nervous about, don't worry. Because rejected. I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Love the shirt. Thank you, thank you. Love the green. Rizzy me up, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> it's your we know what's gonna happen here. No shade on either of these people, it's just like with the way things are going. The vibes. All good, all good. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, see, way to lead him on. <laughs> Wait, I go, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is fucking wild, dude. Go! Let's go! Fuck! Feels good. I'm comfortable. I feel like your only job as a guy right now is just to look as tall as possible. <laughs> <laughs> why, are they, why are they teasing us with this fucking eye contact beforehand? They do the little dramatic pause and you're like, oh, do they, is it love at first sight? As a lover myself, I'm like, I find myself like, oh, there's a spark, wait, I see a spark, and blue. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake. We watched five minutes of people getting rejected. Three straight minutes of cold hard rejection. <laughs> it's tough for a guy like me, for a dating show connoisseur. I wanna, I, this is what I live for, is love, connections. <laughs> Okay, that's just cruel. Like, the editors are doing this on purpose. The little riser there? What was that, like a fucking, felt like a, it was gonna be an EDM drop there. Yeah. One, two, one, two, three, let's go! Uh -huh. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Hi, Jordan. Hi. <laughs> My dad's name is John. Yeah? <laughs> cool, stop teasing us, we know what's gonna happen. It's big. I mean, these people, these people could be siblings, <laughs> easily. <laughs> they look the same. <laughs> I bet, I bet they're gonna match. I bet they're gonna match. Dude, somewhere Freud is like, I told you, you know, I don't know. Does that make sense? <laughs> this is some Freudian shit. I don't know, like, people that look like siblings wanna fuck each other, what's with that? Uh, 
honestly, what caught my eye first was his style. He had really good style and I liked his hair. And yeah, he caught my eye right at the beginning. So I was happy we ended up next to each other in the lineup. What the fuck accent was that? What accent is that? That was like 15% British. That was like I, I studied abroad in London. That's what that accent was. Sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, 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 I feel like that was kind of glossed over there. She was the one before that, that got like five hearts and she denied every single guy and now the reverse has happened. I feel like that's kind of interesting. Like this is the, one of the first times, no? I don't know. As a dating show scientist, these sort of abnormalities intrigues me, okay? So you'll have to humor me. I saw her blue eyes and that was like super attractive to me. Merit, that's a crazy name. How can you not be a stand-up guy with a name like Merit? You're like destined to be like a like an achieved person, you know? Accomplished. Come on, Merit. Come on, Merit. Let's fucking go. Let's go. I thought it was kind of cool that he had a mustache. I don't really see any like guys my age with mustaches that fully grown. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Respect you for respecting the stash. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta appreciate that actually because that's probably exactly what he wants to hear. You know, nobody that's like 24 that grows a mustache ever hears that. You know, but I feel like 90% of girls are like, ew, I don't like that. It's like, it would be nice to hear once in a while how much thicker mine is than other dudes my age, okay? Because it is. I got this by merit. Stop with the risers. Stop with the fucking risers, all right? I'm gonna make a, a fake song at the end of this and it's gonna be the craziest build up ever. Just that. Last nose, This dude's a heartbreaker. Also, what the fuck? Is this, what is this way of spelling Haley? H-A-I-L-I-I? -I? That's crazy. Unless it's like a cultural thing that I'm not aware of. I prefer to think it's just parents that are like, yeah, but how can we stand out? Hey, come here, Austin. Hello. Oh man, this would be tough. This is like, I feel like this is harder on the self-esteem than the button, you know? Like going through this that many times, like if you get rejected like 15 times by 15 different girls, like that's gotta not feel good at all. Or vice versa. And I kind of had this exchange where we kind of looked at each other like, don't do this to me right now. I 
again. I mean, <laughs> the theory, the theory is holding water. Poor guy, man. Poor guy. That's it's taking a toll on that dude. <laughs> this is cute, and all these people are just flirting in the background. Like these look like. Are you kidding me? They they are related. They definitely they have to be. If they're not like r siblings, they have to be like separated at birth. And they're gonna go fucking. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> This make me pumped! <laughs> they skipped off into the sunset. <laughs> All right, the final lap for this gray sweater guy. He's had a hard run. Will he find love? She was a sweetheart. She seemed bubbly and nice, and that's my type of girl. All right, Burberry shirt. <laughs> respect, I respect. That nod, he just, he just accepted defeat, which you have to do sometimes. Don't let it get you down, dude. Tinder in real life is not real life. <laughs> I didn't like the way he grabbed her there. He grabbed her neck like that. <laughs> that was kind of weird. What? Gary? Let's go, Gary! And Gary on the kick drum. Come, come. Go, Gary. <laughs> so now, oh, Nut's back. What up, Nut? So now are they supposed to like have like shitty little conversations like you have on Tinder after you match with somebody. Yo, I see you like traveling. That's fucking crazy. Where have you been? I don't know. I haven't, you know, it's been a while, but I imagine the conversations are probably still pretty, pretty much the same. If not just maybe completely taken over by AI, maybe. Now it's time for the one-on-one -on -one dates. I saw this dating app the other day. I forget what it's called, but it's real. It was just released. The AI learns you know, about you and your potential mates, and then it'll like send the AI versions of you off on like a virtual date <laughs> to figure out how compatible you are before you actually say anything for real to the person. So it's exactly like that Black Mirror episode. How fucking horrifying is that, that we're at that moment in time right now? The couples that match have the opportunity to get to know each other better, but in between the two daters is a swap card. If at any point the date's not going well or they're not feeling each other, both contestants have the opportunity to pick up the swap card and switch out their partner with anyone from the group of available singles. Things could get messy or better. <laughs> or better. Or uh, worse. But yeah, round two. Hello. Hey. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. Do you good? Do you think mom and dad are pissed that we're here right now? 
Okay, would you rather have every text you've ever sent be put out on the internet or a full body face nude with everything on the internet? <laughs> Probably the nude. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I would do the same. Like, yeah, I'm saying some fucked up shit. No, for real. Like I like I can't have that out there. I've been saying some fucked up shit. I feel like I've said some things that probably shouldn't be public. Oh, for sure. Texts and I that would be awful. And it's like it's, it's just a nude. Okay. What do you look for in a relationship? Someone <laughs> He's like, I see your crazy question and raise you a complete softball. Who is a little more charismatic and outgoing. I think, and no shade to anyone I've dated, I've only dated lovely people, but I think some of the people I've chosen in the past have been a little bit boring. <laughs> um, okay, and that's, so- That sounds like some shade. You can't really say no shade and then just say something in extremely insulting. No shade to anyone I've dated in the past, but like I've just, I tend to date guys with small cocks. <laughs> like, I'd love to be with someone funny. Um, yeah. And also, I need someone who has emotional depth. That's yeah. something that's really yeah. important to me. For sure. So that would be a couple things for me. Have you been in any relationships? I have. I've been in okay. two long-term relationships. Ah, okay. Uh, so... From those experiences, what's one thing that you would be looking for? Oh, someone who like is like down to do things. So kind of like adventurous. I kind of, it's kind of fucking crazy that you have to have this conversation in front of this studio audience. I feel like it'd be so hard to like have a date under these circumstances. Look at these, look at the fucking gaze of all these people. Look at the daggers they're staring into these two people just, that are trying to have like a romantic spark happen. What? is an ideal first date? I think it really depends on the person. I've always wanted to go to like a comedy show or something for a first date. I went to a comedy show last night. Really? I'm going to one tonight, I, actually. <laughs> yeah. With friends, not on a date, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, otherwise? That's good, because if any dude wants to date my sister, he's gotta go through me. <laughs> Probably, I like to dance. Dance? Yeah. Dance? <laughs> <laughs> oh, called her out. Call her out on it. What is it? What, ask her what it is. <laughs> Where's the accent from? Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. I, I grew up here in LA, but my parents and family are all from London. <laughs> I fucking called it, bit. Not, not her. I'm not calling her a bitch. I'm saying a bit, bitch in like a general sense. I called it, bitch. You know, exclamation. I'm not calling her a bitch. I fucking called it though. I called it. So I ended up with like a weird in between. I like it. Mixed yeah, accent. That's cool. Thank you. That's unique. <laughs> there we are. They, they're gonna get married. A little incestual, but I support it. I think they're great together. Like if they weren't related. All right. <laughs> All right, let me start off. No, I'm gonna start off with a All question. Right, go ahead. What is your toxic trait? My toxic trait? Mm -hmm. Oh my Yeah, go ahead. All right, my toxic trait is probably, I don't do this on purpose, but I'm like a gaslighter. Gaslighter. <laughs> <laughs> I do it for, like, for fun. It's, you do it for fun? Yeah, so like, you know. I feel like if you were a real gaslighter, you would never admit that, right? Because that's part of the gaslighting, is you never admit that you're a gaslighter, right? Get it more, make it more fun. It makes everything more fun. So you like toxic relationships? I don't like toxic relationships, because I don't argue. Okay. Um, I think a little bit of toxicity is good, though. Okay. Because you can't have like a little basic relationship. Uh, I got another question. Would you rather be with a good-looking guy who treats you like shit, or a broke dude who treats you good? Um. Uh, honestly, probably a good-looking guy that treats you like <laughs> Just, no, but listen, 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 because I can see him grow into a better person okay. he's with me. You can change it. I'll bring out the good yeah. in him. I'll, okay, okay, okay. I'll bring out the good in him. Yeah. We'll make each other better. Okay. Yeah, because that happens all the time. <laughs> No, that definitely happens all the time. Everyone knows that when one person tries to change the other person in a relationship, oftentimes it happens and they end up really happy. <laughs> okay, what about you? Same question. Uh, a girl that's like good looking and treats you bad? I mean, I, I think I'm gonna steal your answer. No. Definitely, if I can change the person, then yeah, I'm gonna change her. 
Okay. So yeah, I mean, I think you're good looking, and I think you have a good personality. Okay. So I think we're on the right start. <laughs> that relationship is gonna go down in flames. Let's go Gary on the kick drum. Okay, um, what do you look for in a man physically? Physically? Yeah. I'm very much into like fitness and health, so okay. like. I work I, out. Yeah. <laughs> um, and health too, like I don't mind going out for treats. I eat like, vegetables too, you know. Yeah, I like my sweets too, but like, okay. I don't know, like if, I, if I'm looking at it like long term, like I picture myself with someone that we can be like old and like we can move, you know? So like, are you picturing me like old right now? Is that what you're like? No, I'm just picturing like if I am with someone and like I think long term, like mm -hmm. I just picture like us being healthy and like living okay. long. And yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Funny, goofy. Okay, okay, okay. Charismatic. What is your ideal first date? I don't know, probably something like crazy. Like, <laughs> like roller skating or like... It's uh, crazy. Okay. <laughs> it can get intense, man. Roller skating can get intense. <laughs> just like the way I do it. <laughs> That's crazy. You haven't seen me roller skate. <laughs> you know, he's like, oh. <laughs> She's like, holy shit, you weren't kidding. Um, I don't know, maybe like karaoke or like, uh, like I don't know, dancing, like line dancing. So you like more like interactive dates? Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's nice. Uh, what's your favorite season? Like, do you like? I think I love every season, but I'm more like, what is salt, garlic, <laughs> cumin? That wasn't a sexual joke. It could be though, cumin. I mean, spell it out. Let's just, I'll leave it at that, okay? I'm a summer girl. Okay. I just like love like the beach, tanning, and like okay. doing like a bunch of activities with my friends and mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Much. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wait, what? I feel like they were like getting along fine. I leave. Gary, only. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love the name Gary. Gary! I can't not read it like that. Gary! Only has his remaining date time to get to know Ariel. Come on, Gary! Let's go, Gare Bear. Time's a ticking. Hi. Nice to meet you. Um, so, yeah. Um, you <laughs> caught, I'm sorry, you, you caught my attention. And um, uh, I just like your, you feel very like you got a lot of flavor to you. you know. I, I do got so, a lot of flavor. Uh, the last girl, she got flavor too, but she's, she's out of my league, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so. That's a fucking crazy thing to say to your date. Oh my God. She's out of my league. You're not though. You're not at all. You're just, you're well within my league. Um, so, uh, yeah. That's so bad, man. That's so insulting. She, you could tell she's like, what? Uh, what's your favorite place you've ever traveled? Probably Germany, actually. Oh, I haven't um, been there. I'm like yeah. thinking about going. It was really cool. I went to Frankfurt and um, I saw my sister who was stationed in the army there. So mm -hmm. it was pretty cool. I've heard um, there's good vibes. I want to go to Berlin. Berlin, yeah. But I just yeah, got yeah. back from Cambodia. Cambodia, yeah. okay. How was that? Really nice. Like really nice. first time to a third world country. This really is the same sort of bullshit conversation <laughs> you have in a dating app. <laughs> it's, like, it's exactly what I said. So where do you like to travel to? But like, it was everyone was so nice and like just genuine and like okay. everyone was so happy and there's like spiritual like temples there. It was magical. Do you work or do you do anything? Yeah, I um, sing, I dance, and I act. Sing? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. What like what type of music singing like do you do? Um, kind of like R and B. R and B. Okay, so like what well, like some like like Bryson Tiller or like uh, more like uh, mm, Summer Walker. My voice type, is or? like uh, Georgia Smith. Georgia Smith. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I have. A, I know a couple songs by her. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, wait. If we are like on a date and we just find like 10k on the ground, but you pick it up, what, what, what's? Like I find step? 10k on the ground. Yeah. Ah, uh, I mean, <laughs> you ever been roller skating? Cause we about to rent that bitch out. Private session for the whole week. You down? But we're together. And we're together? We're on a date, like, and you- Like, is this our first day, second day? I don't know, what are you gonna do? This is our first date, I mean, I'ma keep it, yeah. All of it? Yeah. <laughs> I'ma keep it. 
machine. That's good. That's a great answer. I was thinking like, oh, first class flight somewhere. You're just like, I'm just going to steal it. What do you mean? I'm not splitting that with you. No way. It's our first date. Uh, it's our first date. What you need it for? <laughs> I'm having a good ass time right now. Don't tell the garage goblin. He's around here somewhere. Don't be having that. <laughs> Fucking know he is. I can hear him in the background. He cannot find out I'm having fun. I have to admit, did not see that coming. This show rules. Are you helping? Do you like girls? Um. This is a next episode type deal? Crazy. You know about us Nigerian guys, right? Can we hold them? Thanks for checking this video out. So we gotta watch the next episode. This is fucking awesome! This is a series? Oh, let's fucking go! Nectar, you guys really outdid yourself this time. Uh, my only criticism would be, I want more nut! Damn it. Don't, don't, do not clip that. I want more nut! Do not clip that. I want not. I'm warning you. Not. That was fucking awesome. Uh, I guess I'll watch the next episode, maybe for the next video, or maybe maybe for the one after that. We'll see. Hit like if you want to see the next one, and uh, make sure you remember to subscribe to this channel if you're not already. Cody'sRunClub.com. Put your email in. You'll get notified. Or just Thursday morning, check back if you want one of these. I appreciate you very much, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Try with Sunday.